A spooky atmospheric game with a small character in a large world. Can't wait for this to win every award possible like they always do. That's unfair on Little Nightmares 2 though, because it is a very good game. Some janky controls let it down in places, but otherwise it's alright. So the plot of Little Nightmares 2 is like the first, vague, and it's down to you to make your own interpretations on what is going on, which some people enjoy. It's nice to be part of the collective mystery. Watching lore videos on YouTubes and that, but others I'm sure will want a more directly told story. It's great how they managed to give the game's two characters personality without any voice acting besides a couple of words, and the world becomes a character in itself thanks to its top drawer art design. All the environments in this game look awful, and I mean that in a nice way, they really suck you in and make you think what the F has happened here? Personally, I get the impression this game is a prequel to the first. I won't spoil why I think so, obviously. And I may be way off base, let me know what you think. It's all intriguing stuff. It kept me playing just wondering what weird stuff was coming next. The gameplay is a mix of platforming, puzzle solving and getting chased by things that look like the population of Hull. The platforming is nothing special. You jump, you grab ledges, and sometimes the grab button doesn't work, so you die. Yes, the controls in Ralph Little's Nightmares are stiff and janky, and it can make some of the scary chases in the game become annoying rather than intense. There's a bit where you have to use a flashlight to stun enemies and it just controls like a BBW is sitting on your controller. I'm sure the controls can be patched quite easily so it's not a big deal breaker. I'm just reviewing what is in front of me. The puzzles are a mixed bag, you have some standard boring ones like find a key for door, but there are some really inventive ones. The first game's character 6 is your partner in the game and it's used to good effect in some puzzles, but it does take a few seconds for her brain to kick in sometime. It does feel like the game was designed for co-op at first, then they were like, nah, and changed their mind, and having another friendly person with you takes away a bit of the horror. Where Little Nightmares 2 excels though is its chase sequences. They do feel very intense with how the towering monsters gormlessly walk after you and make horrible noises. They are scripted of course, and sometimes they can feel a bit trial and error, but damn, the music and sounds all come to the forefront to make them feel very pant pooing. There is some light combat and stealth sections as well. The stealth is quite simple stuff, you take cover and time your runs when the whole populace isn't looking, but it's still pretty tense thanks to its great sound design and messed up enemy designs. The combat is quite clunky because of the controls, but it is very rarely used, and also Mono the main character is a tiny anorexic person, so it makes sense when they find it hard to swing a hammer about. It's a very well paced game though, you get some nice quiet moments and puzzle sections that never drag on for too long, and then something creepy or exciting happens, or the environments change up, and the game is just as long as it needs to be. Presentation wise there is no fault in the game, I've already mentioned how good the sound and art direction is, it runs fine and I ran into zero bugs or glitches. It's totally a game that is worth playing for its presentation alone. There really isn't much more to say about Little Nightmares 2, it's a good game, it's a bit familiar to the first and shortish considering what you get for the price, but as an experience it is worth it I think. Put it this way, you can pay to visit Hull or buy Little Nightmares 2, and with Little Nightmares 2 you're getting a 2 for 1 deal there. I'm such a mess, I'm lost, I'm no good at this, I'm in love, still in love, still in love with you, hot as a try, I can't even drink this pain away, memories of you. Twisting my view I've been a fool